Thanks for tuning in to this presentation about the time series of Sentinel-1 grounding lines at Nivellissen and Lazarevissen in Antarctica. The position of the transition between grounded and floating ice is one of the four parameters characterizing the Antarctic ice sheet within ESA's Climate Change Initiative program. By 2021, we have generated grounding line location products over major ice streams and outlet glaciers, starting with the ERS era in the mid-90s until today, when the main data source is the Sentinel-1AB constellation. The processed GLL time series with Sentinel-1 throughout the year enable monitoring the short-term migration of the grounding line in respect to different tidal and atmospheric conditions. In the grounding zone, there is no visible surface feature to separate grounded from floating ice. If the interferometric phase coherence between satellite overpasses is preserved, the DINSA technique enables the separation of the vertical movement of the floating part from the horizontal displacement. The upper limit of flexure can be detected as a characteristic dense fringe belt and is considered as an approximation of the true grounding line. The position of the grounding line is not constant in time. There are different processes in the grounding zone causing shifts. At short time scale, GLF moves back and forth with the vertical movement of the floating ice induced by ocean tides. The tide amplitude depends on location and atmospheric condition. At long time scale, GLL migration is one in one direction can occur. Usually a GLL retreat is expected due to ice thinning. This phenomenon is a climate change indicator. The multi-temporal GLLs from the ERS-1 tandem and Sentinel-1 epochs show the short as well as the long-term migration of the grounding line. Our present investigations aim at separating these two effects and prepare for the interpretation of grounding line retreat observed over a long time. We performed the following steps to quantify the short-term GLL migration at Nivellissen. First step. Between November 2020 and January 2021, we processed a time series of nine individual GLLs from Sentinel-1 data acquired at various dates within the ocean tide cycle. The tide levels at Nivel Issen are given by the CATS 2008 model at one point on the ice shelf and have an amplitude up to 1.5 meter. Second step. In order to have a reference grounding line to which the short-term displacements are calculated, we build a concave hull around the GLLs and with the support of a medial axis and lines normal to it, we define the position of the points belonging to the average GLL. Third step. The displacement of the individual GLLs from the average is quantified by a polygon comparison procedure. We are using a buffer around the reference GLL increased until the individual GLL is completely contained within the buffer. The overlap and histogram statistics give the final distance. The resulting short-term displacements are within the range of tens of meters up to around half of kilometer, the largest values being close to the center line of the ice stream feeding the ice shell. The averaging of the GLLs can be further used to investigate the long-term changes of the grounding line. The averaging is mainly feasible in the Sentinel-1 epoch because dense GLL time series can be derived and is less appropriate in earlier times when only single GLLs could be derived during a period short enough to exclude additional effects of ice thinning or acceleration. At Nivellissen, a net GLL retreat between 1996 and 2020 is observed. The estimated retreat distance reaches 2 km at the border with the ice stream. If this is a sign of increasing Nivellissen's instability, it will be subject of future investigations, with additional parameters like surface slope, subglacial topography, ice velocity and thickness. At the end of this presentation, along with the conclusions, you can see other perspectives for grounding line 
related research opened by the unique data set which represents the six days repeated Sentinel-1 AB acquisitions along the Antarctic margins. Thank you for your attention.